our, our fans, our state, every, just have unrivaled passion for LSU. We just respect the past and embrace the future. Back on another week of Inside LSU Basketball presented by Community Coffee. On this week's show, of course, we'll go behind the scenes with LSU men and women's basketball, visit with head coach Will Wade, get a player profile with Jalen Cherry, talk about the latest gold standard, and much more. So stay with us. All coming up on Inside LSU Basketball presented by Community Coffee. Inside LSU Basketball presented by Community Coffee is brought to you each week by the eight partners that represent Team LSU. Cox, the official communications provider of LSU Athletics. McDonald's, official sponsor of the LSU Tigers. Our Lady of the Lake, official healthcare provider of LSU Athletics. Planet Fitness, official gym partner of the LSU Tigers. Rouse's Markets, official supermarket of LSU Athletics. Hancock Whitney, the official bank of the LSU Tigers. People's Health, the official health plan of LSU Athletics. And by Coca-Cola, official beverage partner of the LSU Tigers. This segment of Inside LSU Basketball brought to you each week by Bud Light. Back with you on this week's show, joined with head coach Will Wade. And coach, let's go back to uh, Bryan College Station. The good news, going into the game, you felt like you could get closer to the lineup and rotation we saw earlier in the year. And as it turned out, that seemed to make the difference, especially in that first half. Yeah, we really, we really did a nice job in the first half. That was the best our defense has looked in probably a month. But part of it was we didn't uh, get tired. And, you know, we've gotten off to some good starts against Vanderbilt, Ole Miss. We were off to a decent start. Neither one of them were great starts. We were off to decent starts. Even the TCU game, we got off to decent starts against all those guys. The problem came midway through the first half and towards the end of the first half where we just wore down and our offense, we took quick, poor shots. And our defense, we just wore out and, and uh, didn't have the energy uh, that, that we needed to play with to, to, to press in 22 and because we couldn't make shots, we couldn't get into 22. Well, against A&M, back to more of a normal rotation. It still wasn't perfect, but it was more of a normal rotation uh, than, we've, uh, you know, th th than we've had. Uh, you know, we, we were able to pull away during that stretch. I think it was a four to six point game for most of the first 10, 12 minutes of the, of the half. And then the last eight minutes of the half, we closed strong and, and got that thing up to a, to a 20 point lead. So we were really able to use our depth, use the newer guys, uh, you know, some of the guys returning and, and use Justice Williams in really a new role. And I thought that was very, very beneficial for our group. Well, you see Xavier Pinson, and you say it all the time, he's going to make his plays, but you like the plays he avoids getting the team into. And we saw that again. There was great ball movement offensively, a lot of ball reversals. And even the three-point shots you took, which you went seven for ten in the first half, they were good looks. They were open looks because the defense was going side to side. Yeah, that was the best the balls moved. Uh, in a while for us and I don't think it was a coincidence that X is back and the ball's popping and we took good shots we had one of the t Murray's three was a tough one it was contested late clock it was it was a tough shot but um, he made it because he had some confidence from some early looks early on he got two very very clean looks to start the game uh, we certainly uh, still need to settle down and, and, and not turn the ball over as much we turn the ball over basically one out of every three transition uh, possessions. We've got to get that under control and under control quickly. Uh, but X, X really helps us get the ball moving, move that ball side to side. And we're able to, uh, you know, just play a little bit smoother on the offensive end. He's able to get guys better looks. It's like uh, I always talk to our guys about knocking down the first domino. You got to knock the first one down and then they just all go around. And you got to knock the first guy down and, and, and then you put him in rotation and you're able to play once you get him in rotation if you can keep the ball moving. And I thought we did a much better job of that at Texas A&M. Well, it's never easy to get a road victory, but you get the win 76 to 68. Now you come back home, something you said, hey, we need to win at home, not only every game, but certainly down the stretch. And it wasn't going to be easy because Mississippi State, pretty good team, good guards, good front line. Yeah, it's, it was disappointing losing to, to Ole Miss at home. I feel like, you know, we've lost two home games in SEC play, which is, you know, which is very, very disappointing. So you want to come back and you want to play. You at least want to play well, give great effort and, and that sort of thing. And, and, you know, Mississippi State 
posed a lot of challenges with their huge front line, their ability to get on the offensive glass. Iverson Molinar coming in as, as the second leading scorer in the conference behind J.D. Uh, Note, D.J. Jeffries, tremendous, tremendous talent, transfer from Memphis. Moore was a, you know, is a, is a great, great three-point shooter, transfer from NC State. So Mississippi State was, was, was a big challenge for us because they're so different than us. They're kind of big and brute and strong, and we're a little more sleeker and, and, and athletic. So it was, a, it was a big challenge and a great night in the PMAC, and, and uh, I thought the fans were great. No doubt about it. Let's take a look at some of the highlights this week. Your Tigers in action on the floor. One on two. Euro step. Eason off the glass won't go, but a follow by Murray is good, and the Tigers are on the board. Now with eight, he'll drive again. Gets bumped, no whistle. Flips it up off the glass, in the air, off the right side, and it's good. Williams fires to Murray with eight on the shot clock. He'll launch a three, and it's good. Brandon Murray with a big time three pointer. The mid circle now gets it to Gaines. Gaines spins to his right. Nice bounce feed inside to O'Neill, and O'Neill lays it up and in. Sharif O'Neill gives the Tigers the lead. Right of the arc. Two dribbles to his left, gets it to Days. Rainbow three, and Darius Days with his first triple. Right wing to Molinar, catch and shoot three, and it's blocked. Pinson catches it in the air, throws ahead to Eason, and a one-handed jam. Hey, now! Pinson again driving, this time against Jeffries. Yes. Hangs in the air, draws the foul, count it, and one opportunity. For LSU, Gaines throws ahead to Wilkinson. Wilkinson spins in the lane, layup left side. Hey, now! Left hand dribble, back to the right hand, no look pass underneath, left side, Sharif O'Neal. Under three to go in the first half, Gaines anticipating the pass, takes it away, request for takeoff, and the one handed slam by Gaines. Back pedaling, into the lane, Wilkinson's three left corner, go! On the dribble, midway up the right block, out to Eason, three ball, bullseye! Matched up with Smith, now we'll give it to Eason, Eason wants another three, yes! Today's up to Eason, 18-footer, right of the free throw line is good. Atari Eason showing the mid-range. Tied it up and went ahead to stay until just now. Here's Pinson driving down the right lane. Atari Eason, deep three, right corner. Good! String music here in Baton Rouge. Couldn't come at a better time. Pinson wants to drive. Jeffries gets in, goes up, shot won't go. Tap in with the left hand, though, on the weak side by Sharif O'Neal. Pinson wants a three. Off the rim, no good. Battle for the rebound. Eason has it, bends the rim underneath. Took it away from Molinar. Eason driving Jeffries to the hole, spins, puts oh. up the shot. Oh, a sidearm shot around, and it goes through. With 10 on the shot clock, works to his right, whips it back to Days, top of the key three, good! Darius Days, very quickly back to Gaines, nice. then to Pinson, off to Eason. Oh, what a dunk at the other end. The final three seconds roll off the clock. Horn sounds, and the Tigers pick up the win here at home. Make it two wins in a row. Stay tuned for more Inside LSU Basketball after the break. You need more layers, diagonal layers. I gotta run, thanks. Leave him alone, Dad. Oh, honey, you should use ice blocks instead of cubes. No, no, Bud Light Seltzer goes on top. Diagonal layers. Did you preach you the Bud Light lemonades? Need more ice. And diagonal layers. I mean, if you're gonna do it right. I don't need my hands getting cold. Why don't you try using a plum ski method? Brings out the citrus notes. Dad? You gotta crush the ice, son. Okay, I'm out. What's his problem? Wait, right. Whenever you know, packing the cooler really, really, really matters, there's a Bud Light there. Protect your connected devices with advanced security included with Cox Panoramic Wi-Fi. We get it. It feels like everything has changed. Masking up, changing demands at work, fewer gatherings. But one thing hasn't changed. Our commitment to your health. It's why Our Lady of the Lake Physician Group keeps finding better ways to serve you. Video visits with one of our providers, online scheduling, weekend hours, and nearly 100 locations where providers know your medical history. Our Lady of the Lake Physician Group, providing you with the best care where and when you need it. 
As humankind faces its most critical challenges yet, the world demands leaders, and LSU is taking up the charge. The research we do here goes everywhere to protect communities threatened by climate change, so you can live your life with fewer worries about tomorrow. We're formulating a better way for everyone, because at LSU, our calling is humanity. LSU Tigers fans, show your pride with real Tigers gear from the official online store, lsushop.net. You'll find everything a Tigers fan needs, including jerseys, sideline gear, polos, t-shirts, hats, and more. With an awesome selection of over 4,100 products, including official team merchandise from Nike, when it comes to Tigers pride, there's only one place real Tigers fans go, lsushop.net. This segment of Inside LSU Basketball brought to you each week by Our Lady of the Lake Children's Health, one of Louisiana's largest pediatric health care networks. Tonight, a big SEC matchup between your Fighting Tigers of LSU and the Georgia Bulldogs. Now she's headed down the lane, stops, fires it right baseline. Cherry wide open from 18 feet, and it's in. Morris will go left. She's left wing. She'll take a long three. It's good! Cherry drives baseline to the right side of the lane. Fade away 10-footer. It's good by Cherry, but kicks it to Cherry. 18-footer left side. It's good. It counts, and I think there's a foul away from the ball. Morris with three. We'll take about a 30-footer. Good! Good by Morris from way downtown. Morris passes across the way to Pointer. Left wing three is good. Right side of the lane, dish to Cherry with four. Cherry fadeaway, 18 footer, it's good. Clutch shot by Cherry. Ball game is over and LSU has beaten Georgia 73 to 67. They sweep the season series from the Bulldogs. As you can see from that cinematic recap, Jalen Cherry had a heck of a game, 18 points, six rebounds against number 17 ranked Georgia. Like what kept you so locked in on both ends of the floor also while also hitting a very clutch shot in the fourth quarter? Uh, I just knew that we had to get the win. You know, we're coming down to the last couple games of the season and it's crunch time. So, you know, just all the scenes had to step up and I was just hooping. Like I just went back to uh, playing like a kid in, in the backyard, you know, just on the street, just hooping. That's, that's all it really was. Now, you spoke on the seniors. Like, what is it, like, with this being, like, it's like your second senior year now. Like, mm -hmm. you're, this is really, like, the last one. Like, how does it, has it, has it even hit yet that this is, like, the last go around for not only just no. you, but, like, the <laughs> other, you know, fifth-year seniors that's on the team as well? Uh, I know for a fact it definitely hit for me. Um, I had, like, a, not a mental breakdown, but, like, you know, you just, is is getting too close to the end. You don't know what's coming next. So it was just more of a, um, I don't know, man. It's different. Like, we just having fun right now, and we're trying to, you know, do different things that we've never done before. And, you know, it's hitting home for the scenes. So, like, whenever y'all take the court for that last time in the gold uniforms, like, what's going to be, like, going through your mind whenever you, you know, they announce your name, you take the court, run through the smoke, run through, the, yeah. the, through that tone to PMAC one more time? Uh, just put on a, put on a show. Honestly, you know, we playing in front of fans now, and they they keep us going, and they come in to see something. So we got to give them something to see, and you know, it'd be like a, a final season or a, or a episode of, of a, a series. So just put on a, a good show for them to to look forward for next year too. So how appreciative appreciative have you been of the fans this season? Oh uh, man, I love them, love them to death. They've been our our rock. You know, when we get down, they get us right back up. It's so entertaining for us on the on the court to be able to pump the crowd up and look around and see 6,000 people or of what, to 9,000 people. Like, that's crazy to us. Like, we never had that. So we know it's entertaining for them to watch us play, but they don't know how much entertainment they give us just as we're playing the game. So. And not only just regular fans, but how do you feel about a lot of students starting to show up to your games yeah. as well? See, that's tough too. We need we need all that. We haven't had a student section in forever <laughs> that I know of. So, you know, to be able to look behind the, um, the gold and see that's packed out. You know, everybody had their little pink shirt on. They came and got their canes. But it's it's fun. It's just a fun experience. It's a great senior year, and it's a good way to go out. All right, well, appreciate your time, Cherry. For sure. Now we're going to throw it to the highlights.
Morris only had eight against Georgia that first meeting. Morris down low to a wide open Newby who lays it in. Nobody was there. She's got Cherry running. Cherry will pull up 12 footer right side. It's good and it's six to two LSU. Pointer right wing gets it to Morris around a screen free throw line jumper. It's good. He's headed down the lane, stops, fires it right baseline. Cherry wide open from 18 feet and it's in. That was a great find. The Newby free throw line shot fake. Dribbles left of the lane, gets it to Trossi. 10 footer baseline is good. Morris will go left. She's left wing. She'll take a long three. It's good! Hollings had an outstanding freshman. Lot past Allo. Gusters has it. Layup good. That time, great pass from Morris. Cherry will get it in to pointer. Dribbles. Double clutch. Five footer off the glass and in from the right side. Her first bucket. Cherry drives baseline to the right side of the lane. Fade away. 10 footer. It's good by Cherry, who's got eight. She approaches the top of the key. She's going to drive left. Slips down, but kicks it to Cherry. 18 footer left side. It's good. It counts, and I think there's a foul away from the ball. To uh, Morris with five near the half court circle. Morris with three. We'll take about a 30 footer. Go! Good by Morris from way downtown. Back to Cherry left side. Cherry to the free throw line. The jumper is and good. She's still hot. Morris passes across the way to Pointer. Left wing three is good. Go third quarter. Cherry open on the baseline. Stops for a little seven footer. It's good. Move. Pointer's headed down the lane. She will scoop it up and it rolls in. A big bucket by Pointer. Pointer. Pointer baseline down the baseline. Running scoop shot is in. Green goes baseline, goes under the bucket, kicks it to Cherry. 18 footer left corner. Good. Big shot, Cherry. Big shot. Right side of the lane. Dish to Cherry with four. Cherry fade away. 18 footer. It's good. Three point game. Clutch shot by Cherry. She'll get it off to Coombs behind half court shot. No good. Ball game is over, and LSU has beaten Georgia 73 to 67. Stay tuned for more Inside LSU Basketball after the break. Some traditions just keep getting better and better. Ford F-Series, the official truck of the NFL and America's best-selling trucks 44 years and counting. Now is the time for new beginnings, for holding each other's hands, for encouraging each other, and for working together. At Women's, our mission is to improve the health of all women and infants. So today, we're focused on new ways to care for you and keep you safe. Because seeing you healthy and strong is important to us. You need more layers, diagonal layers. I got it, Ron. Thanks. Leave him alone, Dad. Oh, honey, you should use ice blocks instead of cubes. No, no, Bud Light Seltzer goes on top. Diagonal layers. Did you pee chill the Bud Light lemonades? Need more ice. In diagonal layers. I mean, if you're going to do it right. I don't need my hands getting cold. Why don't you try using a Plumsky method? Brings out the citrus notes. Dad? Got to crush the ice, son. OK. I know. What's his problem? Whenever packing the cooler really, really matters, there's a Bud Light there. As humankind faces its most critical challenges yet, the world demands leaders, and LSU is taking up the charge. The research we do here goes everywhere to protect communities threatened by climate change so you can live your life with fewer worries about tomorrow. We're formulating a better way for everyone because at LSU, our calling is humanity. LSU Tigers fans, show your pride with real Tigers gear from the official online store, lsushop.net. You'll find everything a Tigers fan needs, including jerseys, sideline gear, polos, t-shirts, hats, and more. With an awesome selection of over 4,100 products, including official team merchandise from Nike, when it comes to Tigers pride, there's only one place real Tigers fans go, lsushop.net. This segment of Inside LSU Basketball is brought to you each week by LSUshop.net. For the latest in sideline apparel, gifts, and all things LSU Tigers, go to LSUshop.net. LSU men's basketball suffered a tough blow before the season even began. Transfer guard Adam Miller suffered a season-ending injury. 
that didn't keep him from having an impact on this year's team. On the very latest Gold Standard episode, you'll see the impact he's still having with leadership and inspiration to his teammates. Here's a look at the road to recovery for Adam Miller. That Adam Miller, the talented two guard transfer from Illinois, who started on a number one seed last year and led the Big Ten in threes made by freshmen, will not be playing for LSU this year as he's suffered an ACL injury. I kind of figured that out. Um, I remember in sixth grade, I went to a basketball camp and it was in Chicago. And I won MVP of that bat. It was a John Lucas camp. I won MVP of that camp. And that was kind of the most I ever, you know, had reached out and got the most, you know, national love. And then, you know, in high school, when I moved to Chicago, I won a state championship my first year. And then, you know, I kind of like, all right, I'm going to take, I want to take the city over. And then, you know, Chicago, like my second home, is right there in between Peoria. So once I came there and I was playing against the Chicago guys and I, I was getting my game off of my like, yeah, I could take it to the next level. I ain't even got to talk about myself. What makes a Chicago player different is they don't care. And they always come for your neck because that's how they raise. It's, it's the passion to want to win and to not like somebody on the other team is just how we are, how Chicago people are bred. This team has turned heads since they started playing. Like, nobody expected them to come out and you know, do what they did. And, you know, every team has a stretch where they go through something. I feel like we're going to get through that. I feel like we just need to stay disciplined 100% in the game. That's what I try to tell them. Like, if I was on the floor, I'd be like, yo, stay disciplined. Like, if we do what we got to do and we stay packed in on defense and we just run the offense and do what you came here to do, like, I think that's what the biggest thing is. Like, no coach brought you here for a reason and do what you came here to do, play basketball. Like, at the end of the day, coach can draw something up, fans can scream whatever, ESPN can write whatever but you play basketball. That's I, I think that's the biggest thing I've been trying to tell my teammates. And I feel like as so I feel like we're getting close to realizing that. And you know, it's a tight knit to co to turn it around, but I definitely believe we could do that. Sure. Exactly when I did it, we were playing against the scout team and you know, I just made a hop step move and I kinda like turned my feet a little bit because I seen two people coming and then I tried to explode out of that move and it just gave in on me. And I swear, as soon as it happened, I got up, I tried to walk on it, I walked on it a little bit. I was like, dang, that was like some D Rose stuff right there, you know how D Rose. And he was like, nah, I don't say that. I was like, nah, I didn't do it, like nothing like that. But then, you know, got to the hospital, started swelling up super bad. And they were like, you tore your ACL on it. It was devastating because I felt like it, I couldn't be there with my team 100%. Um, you know, my family wouldn't see me play this year. I couldn't, you know, be there for my coaches, my coaching staff, you know, um, with the whole LSU, you know, fan base, you know, the whole Tiger Nation. Like, I feel like I kind of let them down, even though it wasn't necessarily I did anything bad. It's just like, dang, I had so much I wanted to, you know, go out there and put forth. And it was just like taken away just like that. Um, it kind of hit me over time, you know, as soon as Doc told me what I did, you know, I, of course, I knew the time, date, I knew the season, probably would be dim. Um, I realized that, I realized the truth, it hit me, like, I probably cried like only like two or three times when I like, when I found out how, like, how serious it was, but, you know, over time I've just been grasping it a little bit better here and there, you know, seeing my teammates play, you know, as a competitor myself, it kind of hurts because I want to go out there and help, but, you know, I've just been looking at the game from a different aspect, you know, looking at life and just, at this point, I've been trying to, you know, see how I can better Adam Miller from off the court and see, like, so when I get back on the court, I make sure all my habits are good. Um, I'm staying consistent with everything I'm doing. So I just look at it as, you know, I got a chance to step away from the game for a little while and, you know, fix myself, I guess. Stay tuned for more Inside LSU Basketball after the break. We're Dudley DeBosier. As an official partner of LSU Athletics, we love being back here on campus. It's where we began our journey as lawyers. And it keeps us connected to the community we've pledged to serve. This place has made a difference in so many lives across the state. And it inspires us to do the same. We're a law firm that cares about this community. And that's the Dudley DeBosier difference. Demand Dudley DeBosier, official partner of LSU Athletics. 444-4444. Hi, 
cake, mi amor. Mm -hmm. Ice cream? Yeah! Okay. Protect your connected devices with advanced security included with Cox Panoramic Wi-Fi. You need more layers, diagonal layers. I got it, Ron. Thanks. Leave him alone, Dad. Oh, honey, you should use ice blocks instead of cubes. No, no, Bud Light seltzer goes on top. Diagonal layers. Did you peach out the Bud Light lemonade? Need more ice. In diagonal layers. I mean, if you're going to do it right. I don't need my hands getting cold. Why don't you try using a Plumsky method? Brings out the citrus notes. Dad? Got to crush the ice, son. OK. I know. What's his problem? Wait, Whenever packing the cooler really, really, really matters, there's a Bud Light there. As humankind faces its most critical challenges yet, the world demands leaders, and LSU is taking up the charge. The research we do here goes everywhere to protect communities threatened by climate change so you can live your life with fewer worries about tomorrow. We're formulating a better way for everyone because at LSU, our calling is humanity. When you support, she soars. When you donate, he delivers. When you provide, they prevail. Since 1987, TAF members have lifted the minds, bodies, and spirits of LSU student athletes, making sure they have what they need to succeed in competition, the classroom, and in life. When you give, they go. This segment of Inside LSU Basketball brought to you each week by Community Coffee, the official coffee of LSU Athletics. Glad you could join us again this week on Inside LSU Basketball. Thanks to our entire crew for helping out. Of course, don't forget, the season headed down the final stretch. You can still catch the Tigers this week. LSU men's basketball to host the Georgia Bulldogs inside the Maravich Center coming up on Wednesday night. And then on Sunday of next week on the 20th, LSU gets a rematch with those Florida Gators in women's basketball. Hope to see you next week. Until then, this is Chris Blair saying so long, everybody, and go Tigers. Inside LSU Basketball, presented by Community Coffee, is brought to you each week by the eight partners that represent Team LSU. Cox, the official communications provider of LSU Athletics. McDonald's, official sponsor of the LSU Tigers. Our Lady of the Lake, official health care provider of LSU Athletics. Planet Fitness, official gym partner of the LSU Tigers. Rouse's Markets, official supermarket of LSU Athletics. Hancock Whitney, the official bank of the LSU Tigers. People's Health, the official health plan of LSU Athletics. And by Coca-Cola, official beverage partner of the LSU Tigers. Our, our fans, our state, every, just have unrivaled passion for LSU. We just respect the past and embrace the future.